Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Labor Day weekend. It's sterile here. It's 7 a.m., not too bright and early, here in Rhode Island, uh, on the coast, on the East Coast. It's, it's, I stumble over that. I'm so used to saying, you know, bright and early at 3 a.m. Uh, here in Connecticut, and uh, I have a hard time saying anything else. All right, so I just want to touch base with you guys. Uh, a beautiful, another beautiful day here at the beach. I hope you're all enjoying Labor Day weekend. Uh, Here's what's going on here. I'm, I'm actually camping this whole weekend, uh, and I've never I, I've never really camped before. Maybe in my teens a couple times. So uh, I woke up this morning and I was just incredibly thankful. Um, thinking where I was 16 years ago, being addicted to, to the hard drugs, and uh, you know waking up every morning and uh, tossing and turning in filthy bed sheets, and you know and where I was back then to where I am today, and. Uh, Saying I'm thankful is, it, it, it makes me want to pay it back to, it makes me want to help other people uh, feel this. All right, now on to politics, man. I went 48 hours without checking the news feed. I had no idea what was going on in the world. I didn't check the news once. I was totally clueless what was going on out in the outside world. And you know what? And I almost wish I had stayed that way. Uh, I, I swear to God, I got a knot in my stomach. Uh, I'll do another video. Uh, a little more in depth uh, this afternoon or tomorrow morning. I see Trump at a uh, another rally, and uh, I went over the the basics of it. Like I said, it just gave me knots in my stomach. I told you guys here on this channel. I, I just want to know the truth. If, if even if it looks bad for people I like, like you know, I liked Obama, I liked Biden, I liked Clinton, uh, you know. Even, even if it looks bad for whoever it looks bad for, I just want the truth. You know, I don't want to be lied to. And I watched this Trump rally and um, the this, this stuff Trump was saying uh, about, you know, how he's going on still about finding the documents on the floor. And he talked about his housekeeping and he was bragging that his housekeeping wouldn't allow that. So basically, I'm listening to him and he's incriminating himself more and more because he's actually talking about these top secret, these top secret documents that he was not supposed to have, who his, his basic housekeeping staff had access to. You know, I don't know, I, I think every time he speaks, he just digs the, the hole deeper, you know? And I, I think about Lindsey Graham talking about riots in the streets if he, you know, if he goes to jail. With the average person, the average citizen, you know, where do we draw the line? The average citizen, if if had the average citizen had done the same thing that Trump had did, his ass would be in jail for the rest of their life. And yet, that's you know we all know that's probably not going to happen with him. You know, and, and just because of celebrity status and because he's an ex-president, you know, he could pretty much do anything. I remember him saying, you know, once again, remember him saying about he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and uh, get away with it. And I'll say it again, and true, that's the one true thing I think Trump said. But anyway, in this rally last night, he talks about uh, how the, the agents rifled through his poor little boy's room, uh, Baron. And uh, I, I have my doubts about about them searching Melania's and, and Baron's room. Um, I, I just see a whole crowd of supporters believing every word he says. And then uh, there's another story. I'll put the link down below. Another story about F Florida schools, and they want the kids to do an essay saying that an essay saying that the media is biased when they say that Trump's claim of the, the election being stolen is fraudulent. When the media says that, it's bias and wrong. In other words, they're saying that it's, it's wrong to say that you know, it, it's, it could possibly be true that the election was stolen. And now it, it troubles me that kids are learning this in school. And uh, just some thoughts here. I see some of those other people around here. I'll do another video later. You guys have a good Sunday.